Hello everyone, today I bring you sad news. A blogger by the name of Gabby Petito went missing. Gabrielle and her fiance Brian Landry were traveling together on a road trip through the American West all summer long in their white van. Gabby's social media post read, Van Life. Her family reported her missing on September the 11th. Gabby's parents said she sent them a text on August 30th stating no service in Yosemite. They do not think she wrote it. On September 1st, Brian Landry returned back home without Gabby. In August, on the 12th day, the police pulled their van over because someone had seen them arguing outside of the store and called the police. When the police had stopped them, Brian can be seen with scratches on his face. Take a look at the video. You want to place your vehicle in the park and go ahead and turn it off for me? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, park? Oh, it, it isn't park yet. Okay, turn off your engine. Go ahead and set your keys on the dash for me, all right? What's your guys' names? Gabby. I'm Brian. Gabby, Brian, okay. What's going on? How come you're crying? I'm just crying. We've just been fighting this morning. Some personal issues. It was a long day. We were camping yesterday and camping got the stuff, flies and stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hit the, the, the bump there. I was distracting him from driving. I'm sorry. Can I get you to step out of the vehicle for me, man? Yeah. Just hang tight right there. Um, do you mind if I take your keys and just put them on your hood? You got it, buddy. I'm so Thank sorry. Thank you. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm going to go ahead and close your door, okay? Why don't you come over here? SO229, I have the female that was on the passenger mm -hmm. seat separated from the male. Keys are on the hood. You want to tell me what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. It's just some days I have really bad OCD. And okay. I just, I was just cleaning and straightening up the back of the van before, and I was apologizing to him and saying, I'm sorry that I'm so mean because sometimes I have OCD and sometimes I just get really frustrated. I'm not like mean towards him. I just like, I guess my vibe is like, I really hear him be like in a bad mood. And I was just saying, I'm sorry if I'm in a bad mood. I've just been really stressed. I had so much work I was doing on my computer this morning. What do you do for a living? Um, well, I, I hate to get an organic juice bar, but I just hit my job. Okay. I was a nutritionist. That's oh, what, okay. That was my That's job. Cool. And I just um, hit my job to travel across the country. And I'm trying to start a blog. And okay. have a blog. So, so I've been building my website. So I've been really stressed. And, he doesn't really believe that I could do any of it, so that's kind of been like a, I don't know, he's like a downer, I don't know, we'd have been fighting all morning, and and he wouldn't let me in the car before. And then Why I, wouldn't he let you in the car? Because you, you're OCD? He told me I needed to calm down, yeah. <laughs> but I'm perfectly calm, I'm calm all the time, and he really stresses me out, and I just, and this is a rough morning. Well. Why don't we do this? Why don't I sit you down in the back seat of my car? You're not in any trouble, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna be putting handcuffs on you. You obviously don't have any weapons. I'm gonna get you into the air conditioning, let you take a breath, relax a little bit, and then I'll come back and talk to you in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, you talk to my fiance, right? What's that? You talk to Gabrielle, right? Yeah, I just spoke to her. Yeah. So, you want to do me a favor? Let's go ahead and get you to step out of the vehicle. All righty. Come on over here. You're not in any trouble right now. So, tell me what's going on. It, the shoes get worked up sometimes, and I try and really distance myself from her. So, like, I, I lock the car and I walk away from her. What, what happened this morning is that she's trying to start up like her own little website blog and everything. So, I give her time. And we really had a nice morning, if anything, and if anything, but um, she just got uh, worked up because we were trying to get going and get our day going because we want to go um, like guard the stuff the time. Okay. You, you want to tell me about those scratches on your face? She had a cell phone in her hand. That's why I was pushing her away because I she, she wanted to, I locked the keys so I could walk away. I, I said, let's just take a breather and let's not you know go anywhere. Let's just calm down for a minute because she was getting worked up. And then she had her phone and was trying to get the keys. Way. I was just trying to, I know I shouldn't push, but I was just trying to push her away to go, let's, let's just take a minute, step back and breathe, and she, she got me with her phone. 
Can I see your hand? Oh, you got a mark right here. Oh, that's from a wire. That's from a wire? Yeah. You want to tell me about hitting that curb? Hitting the curb was her grabbing the wheel. She grabbed the wheel? Yeah. She said, I can't believe we're getting pulled over, and then she grabbed the wheel. What about the speed? Did she take over the... Did she no, take I over the pedal on you? I was going fast, I'm sorry. No, it's probably just the, the moment of... I'm still shaking now. The adrenaline seeing the lights flashing up, and then the herb gripping the wheel. So if I sped up, I'm sorry about that. What about the speed beforehand? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it took quite a bit to catch up to you. So, oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that. We're just going into the, the park again to get water because we have a six gallon water container to uh -huh. fill up. So, we're just grabbing water to fill the height. Okay. And we're just, I was trying to keep everything calm and quiet because there's plans still to go for a hike, but it's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Of course, of course. Do me a favor. Do you want to go ahead and just take a seat right over here on the curb sure. for me? And if I was speeding, I'm sorry. More apologies. You don't have anything in my pocket or anything like that, do you? Nope, just the yeah. wallet. All right. And then, do you mind lifting your shirt so I can check the waistband? Yeah. I got turn around for me real quick. Perfect. Nothing. I just, I just no, want I to you. make sure that. Bravo Romeo India Alpha November. And then what? And his reaction was to do what? It's gonna be out of Florida. He just grabbed you. Did he? Did he hit you though? I mean, I mean, it's okay if you're saying you hit him. You know, I understand if he hit you, but we want to know the truth. He actually. Hit you. Cause you know, where did he hit you? Don't worry, just be honest. He slapped your face or what? Yeah. 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 Okay. So has he been drinking? No, we don't drink. Okay. What was up with his driving? I saw him said he hit a curb. I, I, I. While you're driving? Well, he was driving. While he was driving, you were hitting him? Did Jordan tell him all this? I didn't get that far into okay, it. She so was she was hyperventilating a little bit. She's saying that they don't, they don't drink, but at the point when you lit them up, they don't drink or anything. I, she started I was, hitting yeah, him. Yeah, I was yelling at him, and then when and you turned your lights on, I like kind of punched his arm like there's a suspicious that she's saying was like hit the curb. You said it was, it was Gabby. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know that name. It was Gabby. Yeah. Quick question. You said you were hitting him in the arm. Did you grab the steering wheel? No, I didn't. You did not touch I the didn't steering wheel. Only, only, only for like a second because I just saw the lights come on and it was more just like you're an idiot, like you know. But did you grab the steering wheel and like no. swerve or anything like no, that? No, no, no. Okay. I didn't touch the steering wheel at all. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door again. Do you have enough air back here, or do you want me to kick it up some more? Do you have any water? <laughs> I will see if I can find something. Okay, nope. But we just had a little disagreement there. And this disagreement was just that she was getting a little worked up, and I was saying, no, it's okay, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's cool, that's good. <laughs> um, so it was, just, it was just more of a disagreement, and I just wanted to say... What was the disagreement was, about? It was, it was, I wouldn't even call it disagreement. It was just that uh, I'm dirty, and I can't change being dirty. Like, I got dirty feet, I got sand in my foot pops and stuff like that. Um, it was that we were at the coffee shop for so long because we were there from nine to three. So yeah, there's a few little little things, little just little mm -hmm. relationships. I don't know if you have a relationship with them. I've been married for over five years now. So. There's a lot of little things. That, yeah. yeah, I can go. Um, and we, I we, get it. Yeah, we really, it was, we weren't physical before the point where I said, all right, let's let's just take a breather and, and like walk away for a minute. I'll lock the van up and I'll go for a walk this way, and you can go walk that that way on the block. You know, because okay. moon road. Uh, what is it called? Moon flower? Right, yeah. You know, nice areas. You can go either way. It's all shaded. So let's so go for a little walk and breathe. We'll come back. It's pretty, you know, pretty happy with um, But then, but she's... I saw, I'm not upset with her. But she got a little worked up and she had a phone in her hand and a keys and everything. And she wanted... I know the keys are her rings. Mm -hmm. She had her rings, her phone. And I, well, I was holding on to the keys because I just... I didn't want to go anywhere. And my big fear is... I, mean, I don't have my phone. I don't really... I don't have a phone. So mm -hmm. she goes off without me. Car, uh, I'm on my own. <laughs> so uh, I was saying, let's just go for a walk. And she was trying to get the keys for me. So I was just going, hey, just wait back up, back up. And that's when she hit me. And I, I didn't, didn't get, I don't want to push you, but I didn't get, bit, I didn't get overtly physical. I was just trying to keep her away and, and not get hit. And then I got really loud. And like, that's probably your attention where I was going. 
Yeah. Back up, get away, just give me a... Okay, okay so you yeah. said you pushed her to... I got a quick question for you, Ryan. Sure. Do you take any medications or anything like that? You don't take any medications or anything like that? Okay. Are you normally just kind of like hyper? Do I see my... Yeah, my, my heart rate, yeah. whenever the lights flash on, it, it gets your heart rate up. I see my Trust piece. me, it does me too, and I'm the one that goes <laughs> it, it yeah. gets me going a little bit. You probably bit too can say, hey, well. buddy, whenever somebody walks up. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yeah, do you know if she takes any? She's crazy. No, I don't think so. No, okay, so no none cool. that I know of. One of the things that the state legislature doesn't give us discretion on is charges when it comes to a domestic assault. And it sounds like you guys are living together, so you, you meet the statute for domestic partners. And you do have injury, and both an independent witness, probably the next one we're going to talk to as well, which we haven't talked to yet, but one, the ones we did talk to, and your own companion, have made it clear that she was the primary aggressor, and that she was striking you, and you just received injuries. You have admitted to striking her, she has not admitted to you striking her, the witness did not see you strike her. So at this point, you're the victim of a domestic assault, and even, if you, <laughs> even if you didn't want to pursue this... We don't have a choice. The best thing we can do to not... The lawsuit we have to charge her doesn't say we have to put her in jail. Okay? But it also says we have to separate through a no contact order. And we have to put her in jail if we cannot separate. And the little problem here is you guys are on a floor to live in the bed together. How are we supposed to separate her? Better? Now, I don't want to take this... Well, 21 issue. 22-year-old female in jail, jail. That you could definitely defend yourself against, but at the same time, we can't say because you're a male and she's a female, we can't treat this different than if you were the male hitting her. Or if you got treated the same. Yeah, no. So she's kind of in a tough spot. So unless you have an idea about how she could not go to jail and be separated, you have friends in town, somewhere she could stay. Tomorrow, if you want to, it's up to you. You can, can go, go to jail. You can't because we don't have a charge for you. Now tomorrow, if you wanted to be to get with her again tomorrow, I'll take your radio. <laughs> if you wanted to, if you <laughs> want to be with her again tomorrow, because it's after five, so office is closed, you can go to the police department, fill out a waiver to drop the no contact order, so you guys can still be together. Which is going to have a court date online. In a week or two, she's going to have to show up for a court date online and answer. The prosecutor might drop it. She might say, if you're, if, for example, if you're not willing to pursue it, that's your decision. It, 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 it definitely is. I'm not going to pursue anything. Much. I'm not going to say I love her. She looks horrible. I'm sorry that I had to get so public. Um, but uh, so I just want to get like the checklist of things I got to do to uh, get rid of it. So, so if you want her back, well, she'll get a paper with a court date. How do I get rid of it? <laughs> so you want her back? Yeah. Well, she'll get a paper with a court date. How do I get rid of it? You're going to be taking the van tonight. And you're going to go somewhere else. I am going to get him lined up for the hotel room tonight. I want you guys to stay away from each other. For both of you guys the same. From what you told me and what he told me, you guys have a bunch of little things that are building up, building up, building up, and finally the little string that you guys were tight walking on the road tonight. Does that sound about right? So, I just want everybody to breathe, get a chance away from each other, go eat a meal, talk to your parents, whatever it is you gotta do. So, like I said, that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Hold on. This is Officer Robbins. Up. As you can see, I have keys in my hand, which is good, okay? okay? So, something that I do, that I emphasize to him, and I don't know if I emphasize to you or not, don't text each other tonight. He wants to pass on the same message you passed to him. I'm really looking forward to talking to you again, but I told him, and you, unless there's earth-shattering emergency news, don't text tonight, okay? Even with the good nights, I love you. He's saying good night now. He's saying he loves you now, and you guys can talk tomorrow morning, okay? He's gonna go to the hotel. I'm gonna give you the keys to the van. Alrighty. So here's that. 
I'm giving him a ride over to the hotel. Okay? So... In the video, it looks like Gabby was the aggressive one. Brian can be seen with scars on his face, and Gabby admits to punching Brian in the arm. He lied and said she grabbed the steering wheel because he didn't want to see his fiance going to jail. I feel like this man took so much from Gabby to where he just snapped on her. I truly hate Gabby's life had to end like that. I wish they would have just separated from each other. What do you guys think happened? Now, Brian is missing. His parents said he left home with a backpack. The policemen are searching for him because they found human remains on Sunday at the Spirit Creek camping area in Bridger Teton National Forest Park. A full forensic identification is needed to confirm that it is her. On Monday, the FBI surrounded Landry's house in Northport, Florida. Their search effort includes bloodhounds and drones. As a matter of fact, they are putting tape outside of his house now. Prayers for Gabby and her family. Here is a video showing the police at Brian's parents' house. Sheriff's office. Were you able to get a description of the intoxication? Hi, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, uh, I'm calling. I'm right on the corner of Main Street by Moonflower, and we're driving by, and I'd like to report a domestic dispute. A Florida with a white van, Florida license plate, white land, gentleman, Where's about five, six beard. They just drove off. They're going down Main Street. They made a, uh, a right onto Main Street from Moonflower. Or what were they doing? Cooperative, but um, what do you say? What were they doing? Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her. Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to say a prayer for Gabby's family, and we all pray that they can find Brian so we can get the honest God truth. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.